What's going on everybody, Chris here. Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Digger. As you can see, I got Brian behind me, Silver Assassin Metal Detecting. We're here today at a new permission that he acquired for us. Um, and it's going to be breaching close to 100 degrees today. It's going to be very hot. We haven't been here very long. Uh, but uh, I figured I would do this now before I get too sweaty and messy and dirty. But um, hopefully find some good stuff here. I'll let you know, of course, uh, the house that is here on the property is, uh, I believe, like an 1800s house, around 1800. Uh, there's an old barn on the property that's really beautiful, and uh, and it's a big field here, um, all hay fields. I'll turn you around and show you the field here in a second, but we got all this behind us. We got all this area where Brian's uh, swinging back there, um, and I'm going to turn you around and show you what's in front of us as well. So that's the field that goes way back, I mean, probably a couple hundred yards or so. Um, I'm not going to show you too much more over to the front, that way I'm not getting over to where the house is. But we do have some woods back here too. These woods, um, I believe from what I've seen so far, look like they have some stone walls running through them and along them. Um, so we'll see what we can get here today. Uh, this field looks really nice, or, well, it's all the same field, but this area looks really nice to me for some reason. <laughs> Sometimes they just call out to you, but... We're gonna go swing in here and uh, see what we can find. We'll let you know. Thanks for tuning in to Silver City Saturdays. So I'm not sure what this is, but it was a 2931 VDI in the legend. It's got like kind of a scallop almost design on it. It was bent a little bit. I bent it back to straighten it out, but a relic of some sort. I'm not too sure uh, what this could have been because there's no holes where it was mounted or hung by something, um, but maybe it was uh, tacked to something uh, you know, in a way that, uh, it, I don't know, it was some kind of a, a dormant for something, but pretty cool. We'll take it. Keep going. That's a good sign. First hole, so, uh, yeah, let's see what else we can pull up here. All right, ring it up a 35 here. This is, must be some kind of suspender clasp. Oh, definitely. Yep, those little tabs there. We would have clipped in. It looks like it has some fancy on it. I don't know what's on there, maybe... If it's just little lines or if it's wheat. I'll have to clean it up, but sweet. All right, that's a good one. We'll take that. Just a quick peek at this. Let's get out in the light here. Maybe you'll be able to see better in the sun. Um, but it does say 1871 on it. Awesome. Love it. So this next find here was nothing special, but... What was special was about how impressive this legend is. So there's tons of iron where I am right now. And um, I got a signal. It was a little jumpy, but I could hear a very crisp, clear tone in it. And it was like a 35 VDI. So I went down in the hole. I dug this up. Then I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. And then there was a little piece of uh, what might have been attached to this ring somewhere. And then I put the pointer down, um, and the pin pointer went from sounding like a, uh, you know, iron object to something non-ferrous. And then I got a shotgun head stamp, which, you know, I've uh, never been so happy to see a shotgun head stamp just to see the difference. This is literally all in the same hole right near each other, so I, uh, I can't be more happy with the way that this machine performs and being able to pick out non-ferrous to ferrous, you know, grounds. That's uh, primarily what I dig is old home sites and stuff. So um, that could have definitely easily had been a button inside the hole with all of that. So we're happy to find that or another uh, suspended clasp or something. So love it. Let's keep going. Right, let's dig this one together. It's a little, little bouncy, you know, 40s, uh, 40s to 50s. But. Sounds good. Still on the sidewall a little there. Let's take out our little digger. Let's see if we can pop out wherever it is. Get closer. Is that another shotgun head stamp? What is this now? It is. Yep. Yikes. All right. I don't want to see too many more of those. <laughs> Sounded good though. That was a good tone. I guess that's what it was. All right, let's keep going. So I just got a signal that was like a 52. 
I popped the plug and I swung over the hole to hear it. You know, I swung over the plug, there's nothing, I swung over the hole to hear it. And as I'm swinging, I look down, I'm like, wherever it is, it's right there. I don't even need to uh, do anything with it. I don't know if this is anything good. It's just a little cut piece of pipe or something. Oh my goodness. Heartbreaking. All right, uh, my shadow's kind of on it, but I got something round and old in there. I don't know if it's a button or a coin. It's come up like a 43. Feels a little thin. Feels thin, so it's probably a button. It is a little mangled too. She's been twisted. Yeah, I want to say it's a button. Sweet. I don't even see a shank mark on it though. Uh, maybe there was. I'll have to clean it up as best as I can, but something old and round. We'll take it. All right, just getting a 36 to 41. Um, it was like bouncy, scratchy, but it had a good tone. It was down about five inches. Whatever it is, it's still in the clump here. I don't know what that is. Huh, maybe part of a button? I have no idea. A rivet? No, it doesn't seem like a rivet. I don't know what it is. Oh, well. Kind of a bazinga, I think, but... <laughs> oh, well. Sounded good. Right, my next target here is coming out as a 38 VDI. And it's down about 5 inches. Um, it's obviously clearly broken. But this is a debuckle. I can actually see right here at the tip of my finger a little mark where uh, the iron piece would have been in the middle. But it's a brass uh, debuckle just broken and twisted. So, cool. All right, we're finding stuff. Well, let's keep going. Down in the hole, you see it? 32 VDI. We got an old spoon bowl. Missing the handle, but we got the bowl itself. Definitely uh oldest spoon, at least 100 years old, I bet. We'll take it. Keep going. So the next target here isn't a very good target, uh, but it is old. Uh, it's an old uh, roofing tack. And when you see that inside the hole at first, full of dirt. Oh man, it looks like a cuff button or something. You think it's going to be something awesome, and you get a roofing nail. <laughs> oh, well, so it goes, but uh, this shows the uh, age of a house that was here once upon a time. All right, let's keep swinging. Alrighty, our next target here is a 47. It's down deep, too. Deep D, down in the hole. I'd say at least 7, 8 inches. Sounded really sweet. I was hoping for a King George Copper Colonial 1700s coin. Could be out there still. Let's keep going. Alright, I got this down. It's only about 3 inches, but uh, it was a 32, 34 VDI. Um, some modern ammunition shell, but uh, you're going to find these kind of things in fields, so uh, you gotta, got to dig it all, um, because this could have been a button, could have been a coin, could have been anything, um, you know, in those 30s VDIs, it's, uh, and it was a very solid 32, 34, um, you know, just never know, so you got to dig it all, but uh, unfortunately we got a uh, little bit of a bazinga here, but uh, hopefully we get some more history here, something old, this keeps going. All right, this next signal is a 23 VDI, and I believe this is part of a parasol slide. You can see the notches here, um, and there's a little slit on the side here um, where it probably would have locked in place, so this would have slid up and down the shaft to open and close the umbrella. So, a little piece of parasol slide. I don't know if I've ever got one uh, with the shaft before. It's usually just this top piece, but very cool. Awesome. Cool little relic. We'll take it. So I'm up against the edge of the woods. There's actually a little bit of a rock wall that goes through here. I haven't been able to see how far it goes or anything else, but um, Brian's just on the other side of that hill over here coming along the edge of the woods here. Um, and I just got a 29 VDI. I think he got a Tomback button, you see it? Look at it right there. Little shiny thing. Oop. Dropped it. And it's got a broken shank, but Hey, we got ourselves a nice little tomback here. That shiny tomback material. Love it. That thing had a big shank. It's all broken off, but sweet. That's uh, 1700s right there. We're happy to find that. All right, let's keep swinging. It looks like there might be a little design on it. Yeah, there is. 
yeah it's got like a um, almost like a sunburst type pattern around a little squiggly lines awesome sweet the etched tomback button then which is even better awesome awesome all right let's keep going saving some history so I came off the field down this path here and um, there's all kinds of stonework, stone walls all through here, piled stone and everything all in here. So it's definitely old. There's a cool little pond back here. Um, so far back here I found uh, two modern Lincoln scents and two modern Jefferson Nichols. This was my second one. So I figured I'd just film it and show you but it wasn't very far from here right out in the field that I got that tom back button. So it just goes to show you too that no matter where you are, old, new history, it, there's stuff everywhere. Um, and this could have easily been, uh, you know, something old rather than something newer as a modern Jefferson, but it's just, that's uh, why you have to dig it all. And uh, yeah, so we got 12 cents on the board. All right, I got a 3840 VDI. I've got a little twisted and mangled old spoon so happy to have that that's always a good sign of life out here in the fields definitely an older one definitely 1800s anyhow i don't really see any design on it of course it is uh in pretty rough condition uh that's taken more than a uh run through the dishwasher to be reusable so <laughs> all right let's keep going i love finding some spoonage awesome I don't know what we got here, but I do know that it's silver because I saw it shine. Look at the edge right there. It was down deep here. It was like a whisper on the legend. Right here. Oh, we got a one dime, one yeah, dime side. We got to play the game. I'm just going to pop that little dirt off. It's a one dime. Oh, boy. This is awesome. Oh, I feel like it's been a while since I've seen some silver. Get this nice and wet, see if it's going to be seeded or barber. Get a little, little pop. What do we got? We got a barber. Okay, go. all right. All right. Looks like 1915. Is that the last year? Uh, it is remember. because uh, so. 1916 is the uh, first year on the merch. Yeah, sweet. Last year, it looks to be in great awesome. condition. Awesome. Well, uh, We'll wet it down and clean it up a little bit more, see if there's any mint mark, but happy to have that. Heck yeah. Congrats, bro. Woohoo. Thanks, awesome. brother. Awesome. Well, there is no mint mark, but man, that thing's in beautiful condition. Absolutely awesome. Sweet. How happy with that. We'll take it. Brian's digging something up over there, too. Uh, hopefully, he's got something good right now. It'd be nice. All right. Let's keep swinging. Well, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to Silver City Saturdays. I hope you enjoyed the video. And while this video may be over, the hunt is not. We will be back next Saturday with more finds, more history saved from the soil here, including one relic that I absolutely love to find, something colonial from the 1700s period that I was so happy to pull out of the dirt here. So thank you very much for tuning in. Please make sure you watch Nate coming up next with Cape Cod Magnet Crew. And give a big welcome to Josh from 508 Magnets as he's going to follow up behind Nate and join us for Silver City Saturday. So thank you very much for being here. Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next week. Wicked happy hunting.